So I need y'all to give a huge, a huge round of applause for Big Facts Podcast! Yes! Let's go! I told y'all I had y'all. Yeah! Alright, what you want? Uh, uh, uh. Check, 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 check. Yeah. Check, 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 check. Check one, check two, check They said one, I check never two. make it to the top Cause I come from the bottom No, no cap, what's happening? What's happening, y'all? What's up, ATL? What's up, Revolt Summit? How everybody feeling tonight, man? How everybody feeling? If you're feeling good, we need some positive energy first off. If you're feeling good, make some noise. All my people over there. <laughs> Bank, Jade, how y'all feeling? We back on the stage. We Second year, Revolt we Summit in ATL is only right. Big bless. Big blesses, of course. You know what I'm saying? Big facts, the podcast. Big Facts Friday, we got a lot of positive shit going on. Shouts to everybody that pulled up to Revolt Summit 2022. Now, we got a special conversation we're going to have today. Uh, you know, it's somebody that uh, a lot of the fans and supporters have been trying to get on Big Facts for a long time. So we're going to jump straight into it because I know everybody's excited. Y'all make some noise one time for the one and only Boosie. Yeah. Badass in the building. Nah, for real though. Legendary moment right here. What's up, Boosie? Welcome to Revolt Summit. Welcome to Big Facts. We're gonna try to talk about as much as we can in the allotted time. First off, you feeling good? You in great spirits? Everything good? Yeah, everything good. Everything good. You you know you're a hustler like no other. You got movies. You got books. Did you bring the rap? You bring us no rap snacks? No rap snacks? Yeah, I got my rap snacks. I got everything for you. I got, you got everything? everything for you. Boots say he food stamp hustler, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I buy food stamps too. Me too. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> what you think the key is to your longevity and being relevant so long and having such a core, fo you know what I mean, a good following for so long and people continuously rock with you and they're really loyal to you, your fan base, what you think the key to that is? The key to Boots is just being real. Being Facts. real. Facts. You know, uh, I don't let money make me not real, you know, uh, and people notice that, you know, uh, plus everything I put out is good shit, right, all my right. product, good shit, music, films, whatever I sell is good shit, and I ain't hating on no nigga. Facts, you know, it's a big uh, part of it. I've been in the game this long and... I ain't had no smoke with nobody because I ain't, I ain't hating no niggas. I like to see niggas get money and, you know, I'm motivated by that, so. But don't you think, like, being real and being authentic and true to yourself and speaking your mind, do you feel like sometimes it's a little difficult, you know what I'm saying, than if you just kept to yourself? And I'm going to say didn't keep it real, but keeping it real, obviously, you being yourself, you're standing on what you believe in, but sometimes it could be a little, like, Oh, it'd be a headache. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm up against some powerful people. Right. I'm up against some uh, Zuckerberg and... Uh, kind of like a target. I'm up against a lot of people. Right. Every time I put a film out, my Instagram get took. You know, yeah. I'm up against... And that's uh, not a coincidence either. Nah, so my people got to support me. You know, all these people out here, everybody who fuck with Boosie, Really got to support me, right, you know? Right, right. Hey, hey, Boosa, how I feel to, to see so many niggas feel like they were raised by Boosa? Like, how that make you feel, bro? That make me want to keep going. You know, because I done been around a lot of niggas, a lot of rappers, and yeah. everybody else, they be like, nigga, I love your song. I love how you look, but... My fans say, nigga, you raised me. Right. Yeah. You know, and, that, sure. and that's a different. That's like, I'm kin to you, nigga. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, you know, that's how that make me feel. You know, and uh, a lot of people, bank, you know, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, a lot of young, young people, especially in the streets. Right. Got a lot of game from me through music and and a lot of shit. But Boosie, your so, shit played out in front of the world. Like, it's like you done went through everything in front of our face and beat that shit, bro. 
You like them little Superman the niggas, bro. Yeah, you done been through everything a nigga can go through, and you defeated it. Like, yeah. that's crazy. That's never been done before. You the unicorn nigga for real. I'm, I'm here for a reason, bro. Like, <laughs> or, yeah, nah, for you real. You know, like, I didn't, I didn't escape death so many times, so yeah. that's how I know I'm here for a reason, and that, that keep me confident, you know? That keep me confident. So, going back to, like, how you were saying just a second ago that you were up against the powerful people and, you know, you had a lot of things going on that weren't coincidences. Have you ever thought about starting your own set of platforms? I got, I got a lot of people trying to make me apps and things like that right now. I'm trying to work on my own Instagram. You right, know? right, yeah. I'm exactly. trying to own work. I can't be censored, though. So what you need? Right. You know, so... What you need, though? <laughs> I need these black billionaires. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. To get a motherfucking Instagram yeah. and yeah. let me run that motherfucker uncensored. There you hey, go. Now, to my, why there you ain't go. made the post? Right now, I need a pair of shoes because I love a Like, you got to make that post. What you need. You know, you know the what pussy needs is like one of the most trending hashtags in the world. I need to make the song. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When you started making music, man, what, what was the biggest thing you wanted other people to take from your music? And what's the biggest thing you want people to take from your story? Well, when I first started making music, I wanted people to take that everything. It was, it was about proving the point that everything that I was rapping about was true. You know, uh, I was kind of messed up in the head. Right. I ain't even, at first, I didn't even like rappers who, uh... Didn't rap what they I live. feel like didn't do what they said. Yeah. You know, uh... So first, I was just trying to be hard, you know. Be even real. Though I was, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. You know, I was... I was trying to show people who I was. Right. But, uh... As of now, you know, I'm a... I'm a motivator now, you know. I'm a, what was I, that point where you was like, I... I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna be me, but this shit is entertainment, this is my job, this is my hustle, so I'm gonna balance that shit. Shit, probably wipe me down. You said right now? Wipe me down? No, I say wipe me down. Oh, wipe me down, yeah, 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 yeah. Why, because? That, that's, that's when it got kind of serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I start kind of getting real money then, and I was like, ain't no use to being in these streets like this when you know I'm getting money, so. Right. That's what, that's what woke me up, them big records and... Because, you know, I don't really try to make big records. I try to make music Street that touch records. you. Right. They just turn out that way. You know, so uh, the big records made me calm down a little bit as for... Well, boss up. Yeah. If yeah, Bo for sure. If, if Boosie could be president for a year, what's some of the shit you'll change? Name five things you'll change. Uh, we to be legal everywhere. Yeah! There's no reason my people in Louisiana should be getting 10 and 20 years. Facts. For marijuana. Facts. Yes, sir. Facts. 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 Yes, sir. And I can fly four hours away and they getting billions. Right. You know, so that'll be a thing. Okay, we got four uh, more. I changed the owners of social media. Yeah. <laughs> I fought it. Yeah. As soon as I get in the office. You know. Uh, and I and I do more shit for the kids. Right. See what fucked up that bank? When we was little, they had a lot of shit to do. Yes. In yes. the neighborhood. Yes. Right. Yes. I put all kind of rappers with football teams and shit. That's all right. That's and make hard. them have something to do. Whatever the kids are have. We got to, because they going to fuck up the world if we don't get them right. So we got to start down there. You know, they be trying to start all the way up in senior citizens. Yeah. And, and I, I love my senior citizens. I love them. <laughs> I love them now. But we got to focus on the younger generation more the hard. Future, the, the future. The future. The future. The future. The future. Two more, Boosie. Two more. You got two more. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I probably uh, free C murder. Hell free yeah. C murder, yeah, 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 yeah. free C murder. 
Yeah. No, I'm real. That nigga be out. You gotta let your dog loose. I free see murder. And I'll probably do the three wives thing. Huh? You probably can have three, four wives in the United States. Oh, Look you at make her. polygamy Look legal? At my wife. Oh, yeah, you know okay. I want to see that. Three, four wives in the United States. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> So look, so you just released it'll cut it'll, it'll stop a lot of divorces. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wouldn't be getting divorced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll eliminate Facts. a lot of that. Big fact. So you just released your book, Cross the Track, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, my book is a classic, like, you know, cause I'm explaining shit. Like I'm really explaining shit in depth, so I got a good ass book, bro, and uh <laughs> It's talking about my come up. It's talking about my relationship with my family, my right. mother, my brother, my pops. Uh, me transitioning from right. coming home to the free world. Right. Me on death row. Uh, it, it, it's a must read, you know. Okay, where can I find it at? Everywhere they sell books. <laughs> Go get Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, where they fucking sell books. Right, right. Hey, did you do an audio book? And you can pre-order it right now. Okay, cool. What about the move? I see you, you finna make the boy look Corey Jail stuff. Yeah, the I'm, dropping the, uh, I'm dropping the Water Boys movie. 928. For sure. I got, the, I got the premiere tomorrow. Everybody need to come to my movie premiere tomorrow. Where? It's at the Fairview Performing Arts Center. Bank, I need you there. Hey, I need to be in it. Though. You know I ain't nobody really come I'll and support me. I am. I'm coming. When it is? But the real. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm coming. Why well, ain't in it though? I want to be. A I got the next role for All you. All right, say less. Say you less. might look like my grandpa. All right. All right. All right. I want to be your brother though. You gonna be my gangster grandpa? Huh? Yeah. You gonna be my gangster grandpa? All right. Say less. I can't wait. So let me ask you this about the Water Boys movie. Um, as far as like production wise. Did you take the same approach with the Water Boys movie that you took with My Struggle, or did you do anything different? No, I, I wrote My Struggle. Okay. I didn't write the Water Boys. Oh, okay, okay. The Water okay. Boys was wrote by Tom, okay. but he brought the film to me. Okay, and you just and I and, and I read it, it, it I read it, it, executive produced it, bankrolled it. That's what I do. Cool. You know, like if I only just not write films, and if you got a good film. And you bring it to me, I'm gonna put that motherfucker on the camera. You so know basically, Boosie is also, in addition to other things, a media conglomerate. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> every, every, hey, hustle, every hustle you can name, Boosie. Hey, what well, Uncle? Oh, Uncle on, on, on at the house, bro. Uncle at the house. I fuck up. He gotta lay down for a minute. You know. <laughs> Hey, bro, like we were saying a little earlier, like it's, it's so many rappers and so many people that was raised on Boosie. So to you, in your opinion, who you feel like is maybe the new Boosie or the person that remind you the most of Boosie in the rap game right now? A young nigga. Uh, or it could be a few people. Nobody, really. Nobody? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the key? I'm bigger than just an artist. Like, you know, like, uh, I'm, a, I'm bigger than just an artist, like she was saying. Like, you know, I'm a You're daddy. A total package. I'm a good ass daddy, too. Oh, yeah. You know, I like, you know, like. I'm a catch. You can't compare one nigga to Boosie saying he just an artist. Right, right. Hey, what, what you think the key to longevity is? Being real, bro. That's the key to longevity. And not crossing people and fucking over people. Facts. Big Salute. facts. You yeah. know, when you, when you cross people and fuck over people in the industry, that shit coming back. And I ain't never crossed motherfucker. And all the people who stole from me and took from me, all this shit coming back. Yeah. For me. You know, so you gotta be a, not only make good music, I feel like you gotta be a good person. A God ain't gonna bless you. It's all about character. You gonna fall off. Yeah. If you fuck over everybody while you got money, you gonna fall off. Yeah. God is gonna take it away. How you maintain, like you say, the people that cross you, you, I know you put something up about a lawyer that stole money, one of your family members did you wrong and all that shit. How you deal with that without wanting to crash out or react or get out of character? Uh, 
when family do that, you just gotta basically sometimes cut them off. Cut them off. I yeah. mean, you're not gonna hurt them. So you basically gotta, you know, cut them off. But that come with the money. Yeah. Like uh, the money make everybody end up crossing you. Like for you don't have the money, it ain't no problem. Right. Yeah. Like, right. When you going to the top, it ain't no problems, bro. Like, right. but when you get there, and the money, it tell it tell tell people apart. Did y'all find a lawyer yet? Did I find the what? Lawyer, the lawyer that stole the money that you oh, took? Oh, yeah, I just found him. He said, going to call Drew Finley in, the, uh, in a couple of days and have my money. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Social media, motherfucker. Shit. Hey, you said in the beginning you felt like when you were coming in the uh, rap game that you just wanted to be real with your raps. And you felt like the niggas who weren't real with their rap, like, they shouldn't be in the game. What you think is the qualification in your mind to be in this game today, like the qualification. Uh, that shit don't matter no more, man. Nigga don't give a fuck about that. You know, nigga, nigga don't even want all them gangsta artists like that. They die, you know what I'm saying? You wanna, you don't want no whole gangster roster. What you think the qualification is, though? Say it again. What you think, like, what would make you fuck with artists like I fuck with this nigga? Talent, yeah. my heart. You know, y'all gotta follow my heart sometimes because they got a lot of talent out here. Yeah. You know, so uh, you gotta have talent. You gotta be different. Different what make a motherfucker. When you right. like another motherfucker, especially who hot, they gonna say, oh, you ain't nothing but a young woo woo woo. Yeah. You sound like woo 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 woo. So I be looking for a difference. Or if you sound like that nigga, can you sound better than this nigga? Yeah. Right, right. You know, so it's all a hustle, man. It's all a hustle. Whatever I think can make me some money, I'll take a chance with. Who's some of the niggas that inspired you that even want to rap? That made me want to rap? Tupac. Mm. Two, I, I was inspired by Tupac coming up, bro. Like, that's why I give him so much praise. And, uh, but I was inspired by Tupac. He, he made me think I could be more than what I was seeing, you know? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you a question. This is something that I've always wanted to ask you, right? When you were in the process of getting ready to prepare to, like, turn yourself in and do the time that you had to do, like, before you went to death row and you were filming the documentary. I cried so, watching that shit, Boost. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The last day. That's some real shit, bro. I cried watching that shit. Like, most damn. family. No cap. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was like... It was almost like some roots type shit, like for black people, because to see you have to get ready to go in and, you know, say goodbye to your family and do all that kind of stuff, it was, it was fucked up. So with the mind frame that you had back then in comparison to the mind frame that you had now, is there anything that you would have done differently on that journey or would you have left everything the same? I would have done everything differently, you know. I wouldn't have been out there like that, you know. I would have, I would have took rapping series eight, nine years ago, you know. I, right. You know, cause I would, I would have did it totally different, you know. Uh, if I could take it back, right. You know, if I could take it back, you know, cause I ain't won't go to jail, boy. I know, I know. Man, I ain't won't go. I ain't won't leave them, bro. I ain't won't go to jail, bro. You know, but that's all. That's how I go, you know. You, this, that's what I, I chose that life, you know. Yeah, so. yeah. What, what promise you made to God sitting in that cell? Like, what promise you made? I told him, I, I, I was like, man, if you let me get out here, I'm going to do right, you know. Yeah. I'm going to do right, you know. Because uh, I always had a relationship with God. Like, you know, I talked to God like a regular nigga. You got to. Yeah, I talked to God like a regular nigga. Man, why you keep fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> what I done did? Yeah. yeah, I talk to God like I, when I when I when I talk to God, I be like, man, what I you know I I got a relationship with God. Right. Ben had a relationship with my grandpa yeah. was a preacher, bro. Right, right. We know you got a lot of love for your kids and your family, and as crazy as the world is and all the shit that's just going on, what's your biggest fear for your kids? in this world? What's your biggest fear when it comes to them? My biggest scare? Fear. Fear. 
Shit, I be burying one of them. That's my, that's my biggest fear. Mm. That's for sure. That's for sure. Now, we also see, like, on social media sometimes when people may seem to be getting bullied for keeping it real. Sometimes you reach out and you salute them. We saw it, and recently we saw you reached out to Tiffany Haddish and said, I can't pay, Eric, you know, you what they pay you, but come fuck with me. What made you do that? Uh, Because I don't like to see no woman get bullied, bro. Yeah. I, you know, I don't like that shit, bro. I, I had a single mother, so I stand up for women. And um, I was like, bro, I was like, how funny this lady is. How could you just take some all somebody gigs away? Every day, right. You know, that's, that make people want to boss up and work for they self. And I was just like, you know, I, I ain't got Paramount money, but I got some money to pay you. Right. Just, just not knowing what position she in. Right. Let right. her know if it's that bad, I don't know how bad you can come get a check over here. And you know she made already. She could she could do her own website and put her movies on there. You know just like I do. Yeah. It seemed like to me when I be watching it, like Boosie got a price for everything. Like, like if you want me to, you want to book me, I got a price for whatever you want. You want to yeah, like you ain't turning down no no through, period. You want you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I got a price for it all. Some pictures, barbecue, anything. <laughs> nigga, yeah. I come to your project. Like you got packages for everything a nigga could want. It's called rap hustle. Yeah. You know. How you connect with the little child who gave you the money for the verse? How you how you get up with him? Uh his daddy, his daddy come to me, you know, uh, and I liked it the record. <laughs> and uh, you know, when that bag involved, I'm finna I'm finna make it happen because now you know it's business. So you ain't, you, you took the money? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Boosie gotta get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> By any means. <laughs> hey, it's a lot of day one fans in the crowd too that's been following you since concentration camp. And of course, a lot of day one fans, trust me. A lot of day one fans. A lot of fans also are big fans of the work that you and Webby did together. Will we see y'all collaborating again for a full project, you think? We working on it, bro. Uh, y'all working on it for real? Right now we sending each other records, but I won't get in there together yeah. and get that vibe. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like back then, we had so much time to do it. Y'all was fucking around you with know, each other. You know, like, yeah. uh, but there's so much going on now. We got we to gotta figure out how, how I won't get in there together because that make the music better. Yeah. But uh, we'll definitely have something coming. I can't say when. Okay. But it is in the works. You can confirm for the fans. Yeah. Boosie and Webby coming soon. For sure. So what's the future hold for Boosie, man? After so many accomplishments, so many classic, so much classic music, so many hustles, you got the money, you're taking care of your family, you're respected, you're taking care of your legacy. What does the future hold for Boosie? Uh, my future bright, bro. Uh, future bright? <laughs> uh, I feel like I ain't got to the point, I ain't got to my peak yet. You know, I'm, I'm far from my peak, bro. Yeah. Like, uh... I'm heavy now with these films, you know, I'm, my artists doing, you know, big numbers, you know, like, I just keep on going, bro. I sell damn near everything. Mm. Anything that's product that you go get out the store, <laughs> you can get it from Boosie. <laughs> just from another store. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I sell it, bro, like, you know, like. And people come to me because they know I move. I'm a marketing genius. Yeah. I move product. Yeah. So, uh, man, I just keep on going. Every, I got my sports management now. Uh, I got my water, bro. Like, what price you'll pay for your uh, original Instagram back? My my original Instagram. Quarter me. You said 40 million? A quarter. A oh, quarter, quarter, quarter. I'm sorry. These quarter million. Yeah, you'll make that. You said right that off out there yet? You ain't said that off out there yet? Nah, I ain't said it out there, but, uh, you know, that's what I, I give them. It's worth it, huh? What, what, what about uh, part of your hustle is your features? Like, do, do you, like, scan through and go through the features and say, I'm going to do this, this, and this? Or is it a situation of that money there and the song decent, I'm on it? 
I'm the feature king, bro. Like I know, that's why I'm asking. Don't no nigga do more features than me. I know, like, that's why I'm asking. And it don't really matter. I'm gonna make the song better. Like the song, I be it might, it might be like when I get there, I be like, fuck, I don't like this fucking record. <laughs> but when I finish with that motherfucker, it's gonna be hard. It sound like something, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. Uh, it's a hustle that a lot of a lot of a lot of rappers ain't doing, and a lot of rappers can't do it also because they signed under so many agreements. Yeah. But uh, features put you over the top, bro. Mm. It spreads you, know, you out to other people. It, it puts you over, and, and it puts you with a lot of artists in a lot of different different places. Yeah. Yeah, and it expands your brand too. It expands yeah. your brand. Just think if you go do one show. If me and you go do one show, right? Yeah. And both of us getting 80, 100,000. Right. But I do four features for 20,000 a piece. Right. That same weekend. Right. I just done two shows. Right. And I did them features in two hours. Right. So that means you got like six apples. I didn't just. <laughs> yeah. And if we got paid in check now, the first time I didn't got paid in cash. Eighty thousand feature money. You think some of these rap niggas like maybe I don't know if the word is. You think some of them maybe being too lazy, too bougie when it comes to getting all the money and not leaving money on the table. Bro, when some people get money, they get comfortable. True. That's what I learned from artists. Them niggas ain't trying to go in no nigga trap and do no song mm. for no twenty thousand dollars. You know, they get comfortable. You know, they just rapped and made 70,000. Now they comfortable. And that's all it's about. Once I've seen so many artists get comfortable. Once they get comfortable, that's when you get lazy. You know what I'm saying? And they, they get comfortable. You think that's the first step to falling off? First step of falling off is spending Indeed. too much. You said doing what? First step of falling off is spending too much. Spending too much. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. That's some game. Okay, so speaking of hustling and having something to sell and offer and also in terms of single moms, um, I see that you've taken two of your brands and your entities, which is the Topless Pool Party and the Adult Prom, and turned it into a tour. Yeah, yeah. So you've been going on the road, you know, doing, you started in Atlanta, yeah. and I think it kind of started like you were just fucking off, just doing some shit. Now you've actually turned it into some shit where you're doing a logistics type of thing and you're actually taking it on the road and making money with it. What was the motivation behind the topless pool party and the adult prom for you? And as far as the financial aspect of it, how are you coming off with that? Well, my topless pool party is, uh, it's a thousand dollars a head to get in. <laughs> I know. Fifteen thousand yeah. dollars a section. So every hundred people you see is a hundred K. Facts. So, uh, the bigger the pool, the, hey, and, and it's an experience. <laughs> like, that's what people don't get. It's an experience. You got the most beautiful IG women in the world walking around there half naked. Right. Like, n people not doing that. Right, right. This is, people not doing that. Whatever you want to do is at my, like, if you want to rent a room, you can rent a room and take care of your business. Wow. Like, it's a play up. Like, like. Yeah, it's like Everybody Vegas. having fun. Yeah, everything yeah, that goes yeah, on yeah. there stays there. Everybody having fun. Yeah. And nobody ain't doing it like me. Like, it's a vibe, bro. And I'm showing real G's <laughs> stuff that they ain't never seen before. Facts. You know, I got people who never seen these type of women. Right. Looking this Within good. Reach. Within reach, yeah. twerking, yeah. turned up. It's yeah. a vibe, and uh, it's bankrolling me like. For sure. It's bankrolling me like it, it, it's successful. And my prom. Prom, yeah. <laughs> my prom. I seen you had that stuff on too at hey, the yeah. <laughs> I never had an e uh, event where so many people want to come. Right, right. Like this, a lot of people ain't go to prom. Did you go to prom? No. Okay. I ain't go to prom. You went to prom? No. Uh -uh. 
So it's like with this, everybody want to go. Yeah, because it's, it's a part of their childhood that they missed out on. And then you with probably who you won't be with now anyway. Right. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So it's a it's an experience like yeah my prom then you know i turn up with the fan we dance and yeah it's like a cookout yeah so the next one in duval the next one in columbus I'm, they can turn they can like stay tuned into your page for updates and dates yep, and ticket info link in my and all bio. that stuff we okay. doing the last one in las vegas for new year so it's i might gonna come be to big. that one you need to come I might what's come some to that shit you, that boost ain't did that he want to do he always wanted to do like bucket uh, list type what shit. What I want to do? I want to have sex with a cop. <laughs> you want to have sex with a cop? Huh? <laughs> yeah, with a you woman cop. You want to have cop. sex with a cop, like an officer. That nigga scratched that, you heard he said, yeah, with a woman cop. <laughs> yeah. You know, I want to take her stuff off, take her badge off. <laughs> I want to have Lay sex. Lay right there. <laughs> yeah, I want to I want fuck a woman cop. Yeah. Is that some revenge type <laughs> shit or just a... Uh, kind of, because I, I, I kind of want... I ain't gonna tell you what I really want to. All right, all right. <laughs> but I want to fuck a cop. Okay. A badass. I'm talking about a bad. Now I'm you know it's some some nice. But you know it's a female cop's gonna be in your deal. But tonight. I wanna, you know, role play. I'm the I'm the gangster, and she the cop. So I kind of want role play with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You wanna get arrested? Yeah, let I'm me the, free. I'm 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 the gangster, <laughs> and she the cop. Let her pull you over and everything. Arrest me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take me. <laughs> <laughs> we can dig it. We weren't expecting that, but we can dig it, though. <laughs> oh, real shit, though. Real shit. Have you done music with everybody you want to do music with in the uh, game? Do I want to be with anybody in the game? What You said what? What you said? I said, have you done... <laughs> Have you done music with everybody you want to do music with in the rap game or the music game? What like you all, said? Like features. He said, have, have you, you, have you, got, you have you did features with everybody yeah. that you want to do feature with in the game? Yeah. Nah, I want to do a feature with uh, Jasmine Sullivan. That's okay. big. Uh, that's like my top. Uh, it, don't really, it don't really be mad at bro, because I... I be feeling like sometimes if, if a nigga ain't reach out to me in all these years, they don't fuck with me. Oh, God. I've yeah. been in your face. Yeah. Oh, God. If you want blessing, nigga, I've been here. Yeah. <laughs> Big, Big facts. Big facts. <laughs> been here. What's the biggest thing you'll say to, like, the young community, young niggas, the young rappers, the young hustlers? What's the biggest game or biggest motivation you'll give them, Boosie? Well, lately, I've been just trying to preach don't die. Right. That's what I've been preaching, bro. I've been, to all the little niggas, that's what I've been preaching. Don't die. Mm. Don't get ops. Okay. Because if you get ops, you're going to lose people. Yeah. Like, I've been preaching, you know, don't die. Even, even in my neighborhood, like, I've been, yeah. I've been just trying to get these niggas to stay alive, you yeah. know. <laughs> when you tell them go be rappers, they be... Crazy as a motherfucker, you know. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to teach him to stay alive, bro. You know, like this shit real, not man. This shit crazy, worse than I ever seen. What's some keys to staying alive? What you think is some keys to staying alive? Because maybe some of the young niggas don't know how to play the game of staying alive. Not having ops. Don't have ops. <laughs> Don't, don't have, have fucking ops. Don't have ops. It's not cool to just to have ops. If you don't have ops, who want to kill you? <laughs> you can't be talking about you want ops. Yep. Facts. Facts. And you can't be showing every time you, you got 30 pistols hanging, 40 pistols hanging. You think, you think that... So now, nigga, when nigga see you, they damn near scared. That's why I say you think that energy that you that you put out bring it to you. Yes, yeah. bro. Yes. If you got thirties on you, every bro, them bitches. That's the energy, bro. You gotta dump that shit. You can have guns and people not see them. But you, but you, but you get it, cause where you come from, you get what they doing, right? I get what they doing wrong. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's yeah. like, but you know, it take growth, right? 
Right, right. So it I, take a nigga like you to say what you just said for niggas to really get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to be like that. Fact. Yeah. Right, yeah, fact. right. Well, Boosie, man, salute to you, man. Listen, we got to do this again. I feel like we could talk for hours and hours and hours. But before you slide, Boosie want to get paid, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what the budget is, man? That nigga want the budget. What the budget is, man? <laughs> Go ahead and get your hustle on, man. Talk about the book, the movie, the rap snacks. I don't know what else you got going on. Go ahead and get your hustle prime on for these the people. Pool, all the that prime, shit, man. The pool. I just signed an artist named Spiffy out, Cali. Okay, I shout just out signed to him. A, black comic, a black country single. I'm finna get that country music money now. Are you hard? <laughs> I'm finna get that country music money now, so. What's your goal for money? How much you want? Uh, I say I'm gonna get lazy after 500 million. I say that's when I'm gonna get lazy. Yeah. But yeah. I don't see no laziness in me till 500 million. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. Uh, we got a special question from an AT&T dreamer. What we is shout it? out to Boosie. And How you this doing, is our AT&T What's your name dreamer. and where you from? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I need a second, man. I'm sharing the stage with legends, for real, for real. Y'all make some noise for these legends. Over there. Hey, my name is Jason Leary from Dallas, Texas. Oak Cliff to be exact. I'm a rap artist. Uh, my question for Boosie, how did you develop the self-awareness to stand in your truth and just to be yourself? This is a great question. Because I feel like most people, you know, they feel like they have to be the perfect role model. Right. But you, you just put it out there and you either hate it or you love it. Oh, uh, that's just boosting. You boosting. know, uh, like that's, that's just being me. Like I'm there around my children. Like I'm the same person. If you see me on the street, what's up, nigga? I'm the same. This, this just ain't no on no Instagram. For real. You know, I'm a happy motherfucker when I'm out. I might hurt when I'm by myself, but I live a hell of a life to try to be happy. Right. That's real. right. That's you real. know, so, and being happiness come with being real. I can't have shit in my, in, on my heart and hold it in. Facts. Just because I got money, I might lose some fucking money. Facts. Big facts. So it comes with me being real, and I don't give a fuck because I pay me. Thanks. Don't Thanks. nobody pay Boosie. I pay me. That's real. That's real. I don't have to respect shit but God. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 and, and that's what people don't like. That's why they trying to get rid of me. But I ain't going nowhere. Ain't going yeah. nowhere. Yeah. Hey, y'all make some noise for Boosie. Make some noise for Big Facts. We appreciate y'all rocking with yeah. us. Fuck with us at www.bigfactspod.com. Salute. <laughs>